crib for our baby and so it arrived in a really big package like this so we open it up there's a lot of cushions right here protection uh, styrofoam and also like the soft right here uh, the soft protection and uh, that's the mattress that come with it but we order another one because the mattress uh, on the other one has uh, one more year warranty and that's the spring that came with uh, this is a da vinci da vinci white uh, baby crib so this one uh, is a three in one or four in one uh, it goes from uh, newborn to uh, toddler and also like uh, bigger so it can be uh, modified into a real full frame bed uh, like not full frame but like um, good enough for like 10 years of uh, the baby's life the kid's life and uh, that's all the instruction this uh, all the tools here and we're gonna go up that's the other mattress that came with it uh, that we ordered they didn't come with it uh, it didn't come with it so uh, we're gonna go and install the crib first cool. so inside here there's a side a frame and then this is the 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 head frame right here and we're gonna lift it together it's not that heavy the bottom of it and uh, we got all the pieces that rail that grill over there and this too so it's not too heavy actually it's about like uh six pounds probably that one also and that one also and uh, I suggest I suggest you guys like lift you know open the box right where it is de delivered and then take out one by one so it's easier you don't break your back and bye bye guys yeah, did we miss anything but I'm so surprised with all this packaging uh, like protections right here it's very very protected so uh, it won't scratch the bed and also it won't break any of the parts so pretty happy okay and let's see uh, how to install it upstairs let's go this is all the uh, side of the bed that's the bottom oh no that's the side that's the side too brought it upstairs we're gonna put it next to our bed and uh, look at that kitty cat over there and this is the mattress that's the side frame that's gonna come here and here and this is the long rail you can take out the long rail later when it gets bigger the your baby gets bigger and that's the side and this one is the instructions with the, all the tools the screws and everything so let's get started uh, it's called da Vinci it's a four in one convertible bed it looks like this install this uh, we have all the piece on it we have that headboard footboard left side right side front leg right leg rear leg or oh, rear right leg mattress support bottom rail I need a screwdriver maybe two people to assemble this creep so uh, all the hardware right here that's all the screws that that comes with the package right here should have everything and this is the assembly instructions step number one step number two step number three uh, step number four like this step number five step number six step number seven in case you guys lose your uh, this paper uh, I know you guys throw it away and me too and so I just record this for future reference and that's it uh, just enjoy your bed but for newborn there's uh, probably three positions here so you can make it a uh, higher bed or uh, lower once uh, it gets taller the baby is gonna want to climb out of this crib and so you can lower it your headboard to be uh, laid down flat like this okay be flat like this so you can put the sides on just like the SLD instructions so guys uh, first the headboard like this you're gonna see uh, there's holes right here for the headboard and the other side doesn't have holes so this side has holes so you wanna face it this way like this 
because this kind of this kind of face uh, when the baby is sleeping is gonna be like this. And so what you wanna do is you wanna put like this, and then you have these long leg that comes on the side like this. Uh, so make sure it's longer than that board. So this one is shorter, right? So you don't want to use that. Uh, make sure that there's two holes right here. Two holes, one hole right here. So one hole is on the bottom and so two holes is on the top. And the leg is much longer and it's gonna be like this. So next. Okay, you wanna put the H4 screws on the bottom, which is on four sides right here, over there, and right here before you start putting this and then don't forget to put this first so once you put this you can uh, you know put them in like this uh, no no uh, the two yeah 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 like that uh-huh yeah no uh, the other side yeah so make sure like you have two holes on the bottom and one hole on the top and so just push in push in not yet, no, push in. So guys, uh, you need these two and a screwdriver right here. After you put on uh, H4 screws on both sides, which is on the other side. And I figure out like you put like this so the floor will hold it. And uh, what you do is you go through here, a washer right here and insert it like this. And so we're gonna screw it. So hopefully it's gonna go uh, inside the other screw. If not, you have to check. So if it's like this, make sure that the other screw is inside. So right here, that's the H4. So it's facing towards the screw, right? Otherwise, take it out. You have to do like this figure out like it will be faster okay so it's it feels so okay uh, after you put this you kind of want to adjust by lifting a little bit the other side because I don't know why they do it like this they have to like lift a little bit and try to put this H4 screws on the other side and while facing that screw towards here so once you insert this h1 and h5 screws inside uh, it's gonna it's gonna go uh, and screw up tighten with the uh, h4 screws on the other side so try to do like this and use a, a x key right here that come with it uh, but you can do by hand turn by hand first until it's tight all four sides like this uh, screw it with uh, H1 and H5 screws right here and H4 on the back like this what you want to do next uh, after you do some first step second step is you get the two bars right here those two and then you have the smaller bar that are remaining with you so they are here with me and so you need H2 and H6 to go right here make sure this is on the side this is F and EF and CD right here we put these two legs we're gonna use these two and then screw uh, some stuff on the side the, it's uh, these two bars so they are uh, e and F, E and F, we're gonna put it here and make sure uh, these holes are on the top, the three holes right here. And so you have holes right here, so this is gonna be uh, so that one is the handrail right here. And what you wanna do, you wanna do on the sides, so make sure it's like this because uh, these holes will go in that over there. Right, like this. No, more. More over there. Yeah, this hole 
align with that hole right here so they align and this hole will align with this hole right and you need H2 and H6 to go in this is H2 and H6 H H2 uh, is the washer uh, H6 is the washer H2 is the is the screw and so you want to align this with that and make it inside okay So notice it's a little bit longer and it might be uh, helpful if you do it on the side like this or whichever way uh, is good for you is easier okay then another one on the top right here and we're gonna do this the same thing for the other rail over there the side rail like this okay in and use that X tool to uh, help you on the short side to tighten but do not tighten too much or it's gonna break and this each part is labeled uh, like that on the diagram so we're gonna put another one for the other rails right here like that uh, there's two holes right here one and two so we're gonna put attach uh, this one over there yeah like that okay so we finish adding these two legs right here that and that to the side uh, fence right here and so we move to step 3 we did step 2 step 3 is uh, so we're gonna attach four screws right here the H1 H6 and you're gonna have H4 at the bottom right here it's gonna attach on all four so uh, we're gonna put this this side uh, perpendicular to this and attach this move like this and put it perpendicular to the headboard right here like just like that and uh, we're gonna screw it on the back like this okay. screw back on the back and then don't forget to put on the bottom there's an H4 that goes from the bottom right here yeah so go like that and another one on top. right here on the top right here so I screw everything like this so it just looks like this. So screw on the bottom, on the back, right here. Now we have the two fence uh, bars on the side right here. That's E and F, and the headboard we're gonna have uh, right here another one but before that we're gonna put the spring bed right here so the spring is right here and we're gonna put it first before so it's easier for us when we close the gate right here for steps number four we're gonna uh, secure even more with screws like this so this h3 h7 there's three 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 on every four corners take uh, three h3 h7 screws and we're gonna secure here, here, right. the first three right here okay. no first three from That's here yeah not the top and we have three three right here one two three and then also on this side one two three and then one two three so we have the screws i already put the washer inside right here three screws right here and no first three yeah Two, first three right here, first three right here, and I do that. Like these uh, screws actually just to close the holes for uh, the baby doesn't get their finger stuck. Uh, so they're actually to adjust the mattress spring, uh, mattress level. So 
uh, when you're like one year old, you want uh, zero to one year old, you want it to be the highest. Then one two year old, you want to be at the bottom. So depending on your height, uh, right now you're gonna put right here, and uh, after that we're gonna level uh, lower the, down the mattress to uh, these holes right here. And those actually you don't need to like firmly attach because uh, they just uh, here to make sure that the baby finger doesn't get stuck in here and so uh, we just gonna put the mattress on this level which is the highest so you can reach the baby but now on step 5 uh, we're gonna get the mattress uh, spring and we're gonna uh, screw it with the help of H3 and H7 screws right here and that's how it looks like that's the mattress spring right here and uh, you see there's a handle right here and then put it up like this so as you can see here uh, this side is uh, the other side so you want a flat side up so you want this side up it says this side up so make sure you're putting like this uh, with this side up and not the opposite way so we're gonna attach it to the uh, crib right here so that yeah so you want to open this hinge they are to uh, attach to the crib and do that on four sides like this okay so we're gonna go and put inside like this yeah so you put like this uh, make sure you want to align the holes when you're putting them so not the outside hole but the inside like this yeah so you don't want to tighten that up just uh, to hold it uh, and after you secure all the screws uh, just by hand and then uh, now you want to use a hex key and then tighten it up so guys we have tightened the bed spring right here up and uh, it's taking shape now and we're gonna add the last piece right here we're on step six we did step five and uh, now we're gonna attach two H9 screws on each side of this uh, fence so you want to put these two H9 screws here uh, the first two holes on the side of the bed and do that again for here so one and two step seven and uh, that's the last part right here and you need H5. We're gonna place that with this uh, H5 right here together. There's four of it, so one, two, three, four. Uh, H5 right here. Place four of them right here. And use this piece and place it on top of this, like this. Yeah. So make sure it goes inside this hole, the H5 right here. Oh, send it. Oh. Oh, hold on yeah okay it's inside like this okay uh, we're gonna attach that so h1 h6 to the side of uh, that and this we're gonna get attached to here on the side so we're gonna go use the h1 and uh, h6 with the h4 on the bottom uh, for the top right here and uh, h1 h6 with the h5 and h4 for the bottom sides right here and then we're done after this final step you need uh, these that's h1 h6 and this is h4 just like last time we're gonna have two screws right here and one screw on top two on the bottom and one on top just the same thing on both sides and we're gonna attach this we're gonna place it like this for now and we're gonna attach the bottom first what we're gonna do is there's two holes on those sides and the h4 will come like this make sure it's facing Outward like this, this hole right here. And then on the bottom too. Like that. Uh, make sure to push it way inside. Uh, then we're gonna screw it on this side, these two, and then it will go inside like this. Okay? And do that on the other side as well. Like that. So uh, yeah, screw on both sides right here, there's two screws on the bottom and then uh, one screw on the top, we're gonna do it later, we're gonna do the bottom first. So make sure, you know, you tighten this up, that's the 
the crib right now, how it looks like, and that's the side right here, so secure the side. Like this. Okay, and then we do the other side, this side right here. I'm gonna tighten this up with the help of a hex key that came with it. Okay, tighten a little bit and tighten the bottom one. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten the top a little bit more. Okay, which is good enough. Not gonna go anywhere. And uh, I'm gonna put the H4 right here. And then try, while you're holding this, you do like this. It's kind of a weird system, right? You could, you have to use two finger to do both. With the IKEA one, like you don't have to do like this, but it looks a little bit better than IKEA. The cribs, IKEA looks kind of feel like skinny, so it looks nice now, right? Uh, we're gonna add the mattress on top of this in a little bit, but after this, uh, make sure you keep your manual, put it in this envelope for later reference, so you won't lose it. And they thought about this. So yeah, I'm gonna put on the top and put this screw right here on the bottom like this while holding it. Use your finger, the other, to screw so it's gonna lock in place. So sometimes this doesn't uh, align with the screw. So you have to move it up and down. I find like the instructions, I mean the assembly is not that great compared to IKEA. Okay, and then we're gonna tighten this up a little bit more. And ta-da! We got, we're done. Guys, congratulations. Good job. And now we can Put the mattress in and this bed this one. yeah one. so you're gonna have one left because we couldn't put that one on this side the h5 and here later on uh, when your baby grows you can uh, lower this spring down by told this four positions right here there's this one another one and three other ones uh, more lower and this you can like take this handrail out after you know when the baby grows like becomes a toddler and later on you can expand this to a real bed the final part we're gonna put the mattress and we bought a cover for it so let's uh take the mattress out and uh put the cover on this is a waterproof mattress from Graco and uh, that's a five-year warranty so one key on like uh, any defects you know if it's not if it's leaking or something then you have this mattress it looks uh, almost like a twin bed and that's that's a crib and the mattress right here uh, put the mattress on, on like uh, the mattress cover here like this and I put it on on the other side, like this. And fits perfectly. Awesome. And now let's put it here inside the bed and see uh, how it looks like. So let's lift it. And then ta -da! goes inside right here. Does it fit? Nice! So yeah, cool. Good job. You guys did a good job. Mattress cover on. I like the curve right here. And uh, another one has like holes right here. So I don't like that. I want to have this so it can transform later on. 
to a full bed just like a overhead board so cool look at that that's how much space it takes that's pretty nice so it, the baby can sleep next to you guys right next to us cool awesome looks uh, pretty white <laughs> later on the baby gonna have a lot of uh, dirt and it's gonna be a little bit dirty looks pretty cool let me show you guys Ta -da! okay looks awesome fits perfectly in that space just for that luckily the bedroom is uh, quite spacious for this at the bottom spring right here Look at that here cool nice awesome so this is not too bad the baby is here it's not too uh too deep inside 